Hello gamers, welcome to the void. Here we go. I'm so excited. Let's kill. We're not going for him. Shelby, snail. We're not going for him. There's my boy. That's who we're going for. Oh, the MC is so pretty as well. Lynette, I think that's her name. She's so pretty. Wait, what? Why is it? Why are we on case four? Huh? Wait. This seems like Toby's boy. I don't care about Ryuki. Am I? Am I? Am I starting from the beginning? I don't know. I don't wanna. What? What's the Jupiter route, guys? I'm so confused. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn the thing for a second. Give me a second, chat. Gosh darn it. We're blaming Toby. God damn it, Toby. I think he's already got a save file on here. I think he'd be mad at me if I deleted his save. Hold on. I'm gonna figure this out. Sorry. How's your day got though? Mine's going shit, apparently. Am I gonna have to ask Toby for help? Jupiter route? No. We'll just go with this. Let's see what this goes. Hi! Uh, uh, this don't feel like an opening. I think we I think there's something wrong. Hold on. I feel like I'm being really dumb. No, this is the same. Oh god, now I'm scared. No, this is definitely, this is definitely like in the middle of, oh god, this is going terrible. No, who's Jupiter? Am I, am I literally gonna have to get Toby in here and get him to help me start if, and save? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna succumb to tech support. Hold on. Oh god, there he is. Help! <laughs> I'm trying to start like from the very beginning, but every time I do, it takes yeah. me like in the middle of something. Yeah, oh god, here we go. Yeah, it still seems to be This feels like in the middle. Oh. Is this the intro? Oh there you go. Are you serious? We spent 20 minutes. I'm. Yeah. But, but thank you. So um, chat. We're not. We're not gonna talk about this ever again. Yeah. Are we? Are we cool with that? Yeah. Are we? Are we? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good with never talking about that again? This feels fitting. Um, so we're gonna start Cuba Parasite now. <laughs> so, oh god, no. Go back, go back now. Go back, no, no! Oh god, where am I? I'm lost. No, stop, stop. I don't wanna skip. I wanna, I want the menu. Where's the menu? Where's the menu? There it is. So, um, after half an hour of trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing in my life, um, we're gonna we're gonna actually start the game now. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> We've got a brand new show lined up for you today. It's all about looking for love. Stage is set. Fight, feisty fellas. <laughs> they are the final lover about to fight tooth and nail to find the future right wife. And their official tour guide in romance? It's none other than Cupid Corp's most uh, decorated bridal advisor. Hi there, I'm Lynette Mira, the Cupid Corporation's top bridal advisor. She's so pretty. Uh, he's so cute. Same. Everyone's doing is going nuts. Is everyone watching at home, this is the moment you've been waiting for, is it not? They knew. They knew that this is what, this is the man. This is our boy that we're going for. He only took like almost, you know, an hour to get to here, but you know. There he is. So interesting. Alan and Gil seem to be like the poster boys of this game. That's interesting. Except we're not going for them. We're going for the best boy, Raul. Our man. Our main man. Cupid is the god in charge of helping people fall in love. And in Lost York, one company has taken up on, uh, taken up the mantle of that namesake. The Cupid Corporation. It's a marriage co uh, consultation company at the forefront of Lost York's hottest trends. And that's why I work, I guess. He might call me a modern day Cupid. All right, this is the first successful marriage I put together this month. 
Whenever I get an email telling me about another marital success, I always strike a little mental victory pose. I love her already. She's so cute. My work. Oh, she's right here. I'm blocking her beautiful face. I'm so sorry, madam. Normally, people think of bridal advisors as people who help a wedding go smoothly. But at Cupid Corporation, we act as, a, as marriage matchmakers. <laughs> in the end, the choice to tie the knot is in the hands of humans themselves. I won't let dad tell me what to do. Is our dad god? Oh, wait, maybe our dad's Cupid. That would be sick. That would mean we're like a demigod or something. That would actually be sick. It's probably not that. And because of that, my results last year were at the very top of the matchmaking charts. I ranked first among all advisors this whole year. Which means now all my business cards say top bridal advisor. But I'm not done yet. That won't be enough to convince dad, so I need to get promoted even higher. Huh? An email? I wonder who it's from. President! <laughs> President Snail! <laughs> Why did they give him Snail as, the, as his last name? Come on, dude. I need to know who in the writers' meeting was like, okay. You know, meeting, we're making love interests. <laughs> CEO type. What's what, what should his first name be? What, uh, like, what should his name be? Shelby Snail. And then everyone just applauds that one employee who went, brilliant, President Snail. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so dumb. <laughs> I love it, but like, oh, it doesn't do the boy any favors. I'll tell you that much. That's probably why he's single. And so. I thought the snail name was a joke. Oh, no. His fault is that that man's name is Shelby Snail. It's it's canon that that's his name. Be in my office tomorrow at 5 a.m. We need to talk, Shelby Snail. 5 a.m.? Goddamn. Lynette, you okay? At 5 in the morning, in his office, no less. I just really hope it's not about my secret. Yo, wait, is our dad actually Cupid? I was kidding. Are we actually like a demigod? I would love her even more if that's the case. I spent all night thinking about what the meeting might be about. I hardly got any sleep at all. I woke up late, so I didn't have time to put on my makeup properly. I'll just have to touch it up before the office opens. I couldn't stop thinking about it all day yesterday, but I still have no idea what he might want to talk to me about. I hope he's not planning to fire me out of nowhere or something. Ugh, so nervous. Um, when I enter the office, Shelby Snail, president of the Cupid Corporation, is waiting for me. Not only is he the president, he's also the company's young and charismatic founder. Oh, wait, he's got a nice voice, though. No, I'm not. I'm, no. Roll, roll, roll. Uh, for, go, Ryan, that you're highly motivated in regards to earning a promotion. Uh oh. I jumped a bit at the questioning tone of his voice. I'd mentioned my plans a few times, but I never imagined to reach the president himself. It just seemed a bit odd for someone who's only been here for a year to be voicing such desires. Any particular reason for this? I've just always been worried about how fewer and fewer people are getting married. That's my genuine feeling. When I first heard there was a company in Los York trying to help people with that, I immediately wanted to become a part of that. And after being here a year, that feeling hasn't changed. If getting promoted means I can help match even more people together, that's what I want to do. I see. That's quite an admirable motivation. Well, consider me convinced. You became our top bridal advisor just, uh, after just your first year here, after all. Actually, I was thinking of giving you a promotion. Oh, really? Interesting. No, his song. Wait, what? A promotion? That's right, but only one on one condition. Here, take a look at these. Oh. Mr. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta say it with a straight face, he's my boss. I have to say <laughs> Mr. Snail handed me five pieces of paper. Go so do those, these five people married. Do that and the promotion is yours. You're the Cupid of, of Cupid Corp, are you not? A top bridal advisor. I trust this is in, within your ability. Promotion. Cupid. Those words brought back a lot of strong memory. Shut up, as I do- <gasps> Our dad, are we a demigod? Are we? Are we? Uh, is our dad like the, you the Greek dude Cupid? Yeah, right. What's going on? Shit. <laughs> he loves Greek mythology and all that. That's my secret for why I've been working as a so-called Cupid, bringing people together in marriage. Because I shut up, shut up. Because I really, truly am Cupid. Shut up. No. 
I was kidding. I mean, that's us. That you, it, um, was our dad were... the previous Cupid? I was kidding. I was joking. Oh, God. Why is it like religious music now? What the hell's going on? Hello? Eight years ago before I seemed to name uh, Lynette Mira and became a bridal advisor. Oh, my God. Wait, I gotta get rid of me. I gotta, I gotta, gotta. What the hell? Why are you so even more pretty? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Okay, you know what? Okay. <laughs>